Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. We are learning about hermit crabs. I don't know how I've gone this long and not done a simple video about our hermit crabs that you need in your tank. They are a great cleanup crew, especially if you have a good bit of them in there to knock it out. So there's a bunch of different kind of hermit crabs you can get. I'm going to kind of name off the main ones you normally will see in your fish store and ones you'll want to get. So the blue legs and red tips hermits, they're the little bitty ones that you shouldn't spend any more than 99 cents or a dollar on them. Now there are some more colorful ones like scarlets. They're this really bright red. They normally cost about $5 to get. And then you also have the electric blues and your Halloween hermits. You'll normally spend about $10 each on them. Care level, super easy. There's nothing to these guys. The main thing I would say as a warning about them is to acclimate them really slow to make sure they get used to your salinity. Temper, very peaceful. You shouldn't have any problems out of these guys. Reef compatible, definitely. They're great to have in the reef tank to eat some algae and get that dino and cyano out of there. Temperature, you want to keep it 72, 78. I recommend hitting that 78 point. DKH 8 to 12. pH 8.1 to 8.4. And your salinity 1.023 to 1.025. Like I said, salinity needs to be right on point. If the salinity changes too quick on them, you will easily kill them. And you don't want to be doing that if you've got five electric hermits acclimating in your tank max size of course is just how big the shell is they can get bigger eventually if they keep getting shells that are a little bit bigger than them so they can change out diet of course there are scavengers so they're looking around in the tank for anything and everything all the time so leftover food is a big thing they'll eat also dino that grows on your sand turning it brown they will eat that and cyano which is the red that grows sometimes whenever you overfeed or something gets out of whack they can eat that and hair algae of course is another thing they like to eat now i will say if you got hair algae that is like two to three inches tall big waving hair in there they're really not going to eat much on that they want it short on the on the rocks you know so whenever you get in there and do a water change pull it out as much as you can and I promise you they'll get in and clean up the rest. Origin, of course, most of them come from the Caribbean. And compatibility, just ask. You can mix any kind of hermits together. I've never had a problem out of it. The uh, In my tank, I have red tips, the blue legs, and some electric blues that I've had in my tank for forever. And I've never had a problem out of it. So make sure you add extra empty shells whenever you first get them in your tank. This will allow them to not fight each other or go after your snails for their shell. So make sure you throw some in there and that'll help for them not to be so aggressive towards each other. And they'll have a new home if they want to change out their shell. They do sift the sand very well without making a mess too, like your gobies will. Kind of spitting the sand around, they get down there and you know they really can't move it as much as like a goby can. Predatory fish like triggers, groupers, puffers, those will eat these guys. A lot of times in my videos I say they can go after your cleanup crew if they're not fed well. Well this is when it happens. They go after your hermits and stuff to try to get a snack out of them. So definitely pay attention to that. <clears throat> Other than that, I think that's all you need to know about your hermit crabs. They're real easy. I recommend them putting them in your tank. Make sure if you do not have any algae, you shouldn't be trying to buy any. So make sure you do have some algae in there for them to eat. If you do have a pristine tank that just does not have any more algae for them, throw some pellets down there for them or get some algae on a clip down there to them for them to snack on. Other than that, I will see y'all later. Hope y'all have a good day. Hope y'all learned something. And if y'all want to know some more about hermit crabs, just leave me some comments down below. I'll get to them. I'll see y'all later.